Green, 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 green. So, as you can see, I am surrounded by green grass. <laughs> green. Okay, so greens are totally essential daily. Daily, 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 daily. And now, I know there are definitely some of you out there who are like, Ew. you think greens and you're like, Ew. gross, right? Well, I can tell you right now that right now, even though you're used to eating a specific way, if you get over the mental block that you have towards greens, your body, once it starts to be able to enjoy the nutritional value that comes along with greens, you will actually start to crave greens. When I first started out, I did not enjoy greens. Yeah, give me a salad, but make sure there's only this much greens and the rest is all awesome stuff like cheese and chicken and whatever, okay? And then I just kind of got over it. I forced myself into it and that part's not really easy. But then once you get over and you decide that you're gonna do this, which you already did, by the way, you already decided that you're gonna do these five foundational things. I told you what they were beforehand, before you even purchased those five different things. Now, the, I'm gonna give you some different ways that you can apply it, okay? So I'm definitely some different ways to apply it. And so after a little bit of while, I actually started craving spinach. And I was like, ew, this is so weird. Like, why am I craving greens? The reason was is because I did it so consistently, which is gonna be coming up soon as another one of our root fives. So I did it so consistently that my body was really starting to absorb the nutrition from it and absolutely loved it. And now why are greens one of the, one of the things that have the, the value that, you know, why not something else? Why not protein? Why not? this the reason I say greens is because just like water which is the reason why it's the one after water just like water it helps keep things moving it helps keep things in motion it's the most natural type of fiber that you're going to be able to get from different types of foods okay and it, the type of nutrition that's inside of it cannot be replicated any other way now okay if you really really cannot come to grips with like chewing a green try to experiment with, with some different types do you like leafy greens? Do you want to do just broccoli instead? There's some really fun ways that you can kind of incorporate them and you know enjoy a little coconut oil with pink salt, make it really fun, make it exciting. Uh, but greens are really important to keep things moving just like water. It's right up there. Another thing that greens are really good for are fill, actually filling you up. Greens are one of the first things that you want to eat when you do have a plate of food. It's one of the first things that you do want to fill up on. Some of them are very expanding, so when you eat them, something like a cabbage, you're gonna go ahead and feel very full, like a broccoli. You're gonna feel very full very quickly. Yeah, you're gonna be a little gassy too, but that's a good thing. That's your body telling you it's working. It's a good thing. So go ahead and try to experiment with a few different greens. Think about the types of, uh, of different greens you're willing to go ahead and, and try out. And if you are absolutely, absolutely, no, 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 and you can't get over that mental block, I am going to kind of ask you to go ahead and go out into nature. If you naturally like green already, unless you're colorblind, I'm really sorry. If you, act, if you go and you really like the scenery that's behind me, this excites you, you really like being out in nature, I'm gonna tell you right now, your body is responding to natural things anyway. Your body is, enjoys the sun, if your body enjoys the grass, you're probably, <laughs> your body is trying to tell you something. I like this, don't be afraid of this, let's do it. Go ahead and consume this thing that's been provided for you so gracefully by the big man upstairs, all right? So, if you enjoy just being outside, there's a sign there. There's something trying to tell you that it's supposed to be a part of your life. So pay attention to that signal. And I know this might sound a little hokey, whatever, but it's totally true. We have things in our brain, we're attracted to specific things for specific reasons, and sometimes we just kind of fill it over. We don't really pay attention to why we're feeling that sort of way, right? So pay attention to it. Your body wants greens inside of it. Get some greens in. First thing every meal. It's gotta be something that you just kind of push through in the first few weeks. If, you ha if you're not doing it already, if you're kind of sort of doing it, try to pick it up a notch, right? You can, and the coolest part about greens is that you can have unlimited amount. You can eat all the greens if you want. <laughs> and that's why I really love eating greens too because I like to consume a lot of food. I like the action of eating. I enjoy being around a lot of people. They have a large fry. I have a giant salad. It's awesome. And the other thing about greens is it actually slows down you consuming food. So for instance, you have french fries, I have a salad. How about this? We'll swap places for a little. You have a salad. I have french fries. I'm able to scarf those french fries down super fast 
because they don't take a lot for me to chew. I chew a little bit and I'm able to swallow it before I fully chewed, okay? <laughs> Chewing your food's really important. When it comes to greens, you have no choice but to really chew. Have you ever had a piece of celery before? Lots of chewing involved. But it's really, it's a blessing in disguise because it slows you down. The digestive process starts in your mouth. And when we consume food whole and we don't really chew it down and break it down, we're not getting all the nutritional value. It's gonna clog up our intestinal system and we're not gonna get the biggest bang for our buck. We're pretty much wasting the food because it's gonna stay in whole chunks. It's gonna make our digestion system work so much harder. We're gonna use more energy and we're gonna feel more tired. So naturally greens, being able to chew them, chew them, we have to, we have to, we, we don't have a choice, right? You have to chew and chew and chew and chew and chew before you can swallow. Otherwise you're gonna feel crazy. So you chew, 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 chew. You already started the digestive process. You're gonna feel fuller longer and it's gonna be easier on your digestive system. Now I'm gonna tell you something that's gonna blow your mind, blow your mind. Digestion is the second most energy depleting thing that we do other than sex. Digestion is the second most energy depleting thing that we do other than sex. Isn't that wild? That's wild berry soup, man. So that's really, really crazy. So thinking about all those reasons, does it not make sense to make sure that we're having greens at every single meal? I'm gonna feel fuller longer, and a big reason why I stop and fall off diets because I'm so hungry all the time. Well, if you go ahead and you have a giant plate of greens, I legit will eat a whole head of broccoli at one time and not feel guilty about it at all because I know greens are unlimited. I can be unlimited with my greens. It's the first thing I eat, so I know I'm not gonna fill up on other things that aren't so good for me or that don't, um, that don't break down my digestive system so much. So Lightly Steamed Green is a great, great place to go. All right, guys, let me know what green you're doing. Text me, email me, reply to this video. Let's do it.